Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so as per promise, in this example four, I'm going to show you how to use induction to prove a divisibility statement. And here's a statement that we want to prove true. Uh, we want to prove that 5 to the n minus 1 is divisible by 4. That is, we want to show that 4 divides 5 to the n minus 1. All right, uh, this vertical bar is read as divides. Okay, so the proof starts as per usual with case 1. So here, n equals 1. So what we need to show is that 4 divides 5 to the first minus 1. Well, surely 4 divides 4, so that's true. And case 2 is equally trivial, because uh, here we need to show that 4 divides 5 squared minus 1, and since 4 divides 24, that's true. Okay, next we go to that all important inductive step. And here's where we assume the statement is true. That is, we assume true that 4 divides 5 to the k minus 1. And based on this assumption, we need to show in the next step that 4 divides 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1. All right. Now, the way that we've written this fact uh, of the inductive step is not going to be useful to the end of that final step. So let's interpret what it means. Let's interpret what it means. Um, okay. So notice that 4 divides... 5 to the k minus 1 means that 5 to the k minus 1 is a multiple of 4, because otherwise 4 wouldn't divide it. But um, 5 to the k minus 1 is a multiple of 4 means that 5 to the k minus 1 is of the form 4 times m, where m is an integer, because this clearly shows that it's a multiple of 4, that we can, re we can rewrite it as 4 times m, where m is an integer. Okay, cool. Now, you'll see a little bit later that we'll even find more useful if we isolate 5 to the k from what we know to be true here, right? And we know this middle statement is true, again, because 4 divides 5 to the k minus 1 means that 5 to the k minus 1 is of the form 4m for m an integer, right? Okay, and then here we can add the 1 over to the right side, right? And write, if we so chose, that 5 to the k is of the form 4 times m, m an integer, plus 1. Yeah? Okay, cool. We'll find this final form most useful, even though it means the same as this, and it means the same as this. Yeah? Okay, cool. So, on to that final induct, uh, induction step. And that final step is where we let n equal k plus 1. Here, um, that means that we need to show, as we already said, that 4 divides um, 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1. All right, how do we do this, right? Okay, well, um, what we need to show, notice, is that 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1 is a multiple of 4, that it is of the form 4 times p, where p is some integer, just like m. Yeah? Okay, cool. So how do we do this? Well, um, look here. So first, um, 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1, sorry about reading that, 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1 um, is the same as 5 times 5 to the k minus 1. I just used exponent rules interpreting 5 to the k plus 1, right? That's all. All right, cool. Now, we would said that 5 to the k assumes the form over here from the inductive step. Based on our assumption in the inductive step, we said that if we so chose, we can write 5 to the k as 4 times m plus 1 for m an integer. So what we're going to do is replace this 5 to the k right here with the form that we know it has, which is 4m plus 1. And when we do, and then distribute this 5 here, what we're going to get is 20m plus 5 minus 1. But then that assumes the form 20m plus 4. That is 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1 or let me read again, 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1 assumes the form 20m plus 4. But wait, 20m plus 4 can be rewritten as 4 times 5m plus 1. Distribute that 4 and you see that you get back 20m plus 4. But then, because m is an integer, 5m is an integer, and of course 5m plus 1 then has to be an integer, right? So then we can claim that that p that we're looking for 
is 5m plus 1, and we've got that uh, 20m plus 4 can be written as 4 times p for p an integer, which means that 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1 can be written as 4 times p, where p is an integer, and getting us to the conclusion we wanted, which is that 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1 is divisible by 4, since we can write it as 4p, which means that it is a multiple of 4. Yeah? Okay, cool. I think I got a little too excited <laughs> during this video, but we'll live. And there are a couple of um, interesting examples to come, so keep watching. Take care.